Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of the security talk show by 360 PSA. Aaj ke hamare guest hain Mr. Amrinder Pal Singh Walia jo ki hain a close protection officer. He started his journey from a small district in Punjab from where he went to the UK where he did his first ever door supervisor course followed by close protection course such as level 3 BTEC and other SIA certifications. And today he is one of the finest CPOs in the country. तो अगर आप क्लोज प्रोटेक्शन में एक अच्छा करियर बनाना चाहते हैं तो इस एपिसोड में इंस्पिरेशन के साथ साथ आपको मिलेंगे बहुत से एक्शनेबल टिप्स तो आइए एपिसोड में चलते हैं सो विल डायरेक्टली जंप इनटू द कॉन्वर्सेशन राइट सर इन योर मेनी इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द प्राइवेट सिक्योरिटी इंडस्ट्री वॉट इज इट दैट यू हैव सीन चेंजिंग अक्रॉस द इयर्स um one of the main things that caught my attention is the uh um evolvement in the manpower and technology which comes into a fusion to uh to basically provide the quantifiable data to from the uh of the business units or the respective offices to the management to basically do a trend analysis of a specific incident or event to mm -hmm. provide them on a better solution and uh, to assist the specific event or incident in a more uh, professional manner so uh this is one of the things that caught my attention you know, over the course of few years yes right so the involvement of technology yeah as a supplementary force in providing top level security is well, something that has changed say you can uh, see uh, yes and basically now as we are as you we all know that there are evolving risks and threats comparing to physical security or cyber security then we have to be updated and upskill ourselves based on the evolving threats so that Uh, we can mitigate those threats uh, yep. well in time and in a proper manner so that they won't be uh, just being jumping out again right right sir right sir so sir you did mention that even the threats are evolving as well as yep. how we deliver security that is also evolving yes. right so since we are talking about evolution what do you think is going to happen in the private security industry in the next 2 to 5 years from now well um, it's uh, see uh, there are uh, there are two uh, always we can see that there are two phases of a coin it's the mm -hmm. positives and the negatives yeah, right so if we talk about from a positive perspective then you have a better crime prevention and then detection and then um, you can also uh, release the load of a law enforcement wherein they can also only be involved where the actual crime has been committed mm -hmm. and the things prior to detection or interruption uh, which can also be relied upon a private security as if we have a uh, actually trained a sound trained personnel we of course if we come down towards the negatives but then again a uh, problem with private security is the abuse of authority as we all know mm -hmm. then dishonesty uh, for the purpose of uh, client retention then again uh, poor business practices where are people who are not even following the compliances and the norms of the law of the law of the land yeah, right if we talk about we are in india so then there are as we all know the pasara acts which is the comes under the home ministries and stuff and uh, yeah uh, they have to follow it and they have to keep it compliant uh, mm -hmm. just because that they are not keeping it compliant uh, it's again falls under the poor business practices and then again uh, personnel of that uh, quality of training and their uh, supervision and then uh, their educations as well so these are the positives and some positives and some negatives no valid sir valid very valid sir so i would want to just drill down a little deeper into what you just said right so of course as you did mention and very well put that positives and negatives are two sides of the same coin yep. right so in terms of positivity i think that in the next 2 to 5 years there is significant demand expansion that is going to happen in the industry yes right but when we talk about the negatives as you said that there are untrained guards there is dishonesty there yep. is non compliance and so on so forth yep this also has a silver lining because each of the negatives if addressed properly can turn into opportunities agreed agreed totally agreed right sir yep. so sir in that context what do you think will it take for a private security agency to do today to become a winner tomorrow well to be an industry leader um, you see one thing you never stop learning right 
no matter wherever you are however you are you, you will learn even if it's a minute thing to learn but and it will help you in the future uh, it it doesn't matter when, when and what but yes it will definitely help you in future then again uh, people rather think that uh, i have been cleared so and so certifications and then qualifications and i have done a lot and now i'm just being a better professional than mostly other but then again which is not the case mm -hmm. because learning never stops and uh, please discuss your problem with your junior most employee because you mm. never know he might have the simplest answer to your problem All right he will also feel valued in the team uh, which will of course affect his morale in a positive manner right but then again uh, flexibility of a leader is also most important for one have to become an industry leader because you cannot be micromanaging people mm -hmm. uh, so these are key points to be an industry leader right so essentially what we are talking about here is ki jo hamara ground level par ek guard hai as you mentioned right the junior most person or the person who is actually acting on the field right so in in context of a private security agency that would be a security guard yes so what they experience on a daily basis is something that should flow all the way up to the top management so yes. that they know they also know ke ha yaar matlab ground ke upar kya difficulties hain right literally what are they facing and they need to understand that okay acha agar ye banda ye face kar raha hai so what will be the possible uh, root cause behind that specific problem as well jab hum ground level grassroots level ke upar ja ke cheezon ko address karna shuru karenge i'm um, i'm sure that we'll be in a better place somewhere near tomorrow right so that feedback loop needs to be built and needs to be built fairly quickly yes and it has to be based on purely honesty that theek hai agar kuch bande ne सही बोला या गलत बोला दैट्स अगेन पार्ट ऑफ दर डिस्कशन बट हाँ एटलीस्ट चेक करो और वेरीफाई करो अंडरस्टैंड करो देन उसको सोर्ट आउट करो राइट राइट सो वन इज दैट अ फीडबैक लूप नीड्स टू बी सेट अप वेयर पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली ऑन द फील्ड फील दैट दे आर बीइंग हर्ट या and even then they are being respected yeah. by everyone in the company including the top management yeah. the second thing that you mentioned was that uh, uh, you know a lot needs to be done in terms of training your resources yes right see uh, when we talk about a training training itself is a vast subject itself mm -hmm. and uh, but then again training from a global standards yeah, right they have to be trained on a global standards and then uh, it can be more professional with their work to be honest and stop doing patchworks first of all and uh, like chota sa acha ye issue hai acha isko aise band kar do nahi that's not the point so aapko us problem ko ya us particular risk ko you have to optimize it fully that it won't happen in again in the future and to, there are and see there are no shortcuts to the solutions so this is again a point then again right uh these are my two bits on it oh absolutely fair sir so essentially i think the psas of tomorrow will be a lot more sophisticated in how they operate yes. a lot more corporatized if i might use that word yep in how they operate right well you can say that uh, see uh, if there are people or they are uh, most junior level staff they are trained well they've been trained on a global standards they understand the nitty gritties okay uh, agar maine isko लॉग इन नहीं किया या मगर मैंने इस इंसिडेंट को लॉग नहीं किया कल को अगर कुछ होता है तो हाउ विल आई जस्टिफाई कि अच्छा सर ये तो पास्ट में भी हुआ था तो दीज आर द थिंग्स राइट एब्सोल्युटली सर सो सर अब हम बात करेंगे आपके एक्सपीरियंस की एज अ सीपीओ व्हिच इज अ क्लोज प्रोटेक्शन ऑफिसर सो यू हैव सच रिच एक्सपीरियंस इन द इंडस्ट्री तो फ्रॉम दैट पर्सपेक्टिव सर हमें बताइए कि एक बेस्ट इन क्लास सीपीओ बनने के लिए क्या-क्या चाहिए सी बेस्ट इन क्लास सी बनने के लिए तो आप सर्टिफिकेशन करो ग्लोबल स्टैंडर्ड सर्टिफिकेशन करो सर्टिफिकेशन करके क्लास पास करो एंड देन एज द क्लास आई फाइव फाइव वर्ड्स है एंड देन अगेन अंडरस्टैंड करो एंड अपने आप को अपडेट रखो रिस्क और थ्रेट जो मतलब नए पनप रहे हैं उभर रहे हैं राइट उनके बारे में जानकारी रखो क्योंकि सी दुश्मन और एडवर्सरी आज के टाइम पे इज वे मोर स्मार्ट देन यूज टू बी तो आपको उनसे दो कदम स्मार्ट और बन और बढ़ना पड़ेगा इन केस टू सपोर्ट इन दी सी पी ओ असाइनमेंट राइट तो ये दो चार चीजें हैं जो आप कर सकते हो तो एसेंशियली इट इज अम्बिनेशन ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन विच इज पार्ट ऑफ योर ट्रेनिंग 
along with that, as you said, ki sirf apni class pass mat karo, but ace the class. So there is a lot of passion that is required. Yes. Right, sir. So, sir, oh, very well said. And in that context, aapka din as a CPO, how does that day look like? Mera CPO, my, my, my typical day in a CPO career, I uh, have three phases ke andar differentiate kiya hai. Okay. So basically, it's the pre-event planning and then uh, event day operation and then uh, lessons learned. Mm -hmm. So pre-event planning, ke andar, uh, you'll go for the uh, recce's, advanced security recce's, then route assessments and then security surveys. Um, then you'll move down to event day operation. Uh, event day operation, ke andar, synchronization is very critical mm -hmm. uh, between the CPOs and the drivers. Mm -hmm. And then effective communication with between the CPO and the building security team to identify the possible abnormalities and uh, addressing it accordingly. Mm -hmm. Then uh, move down to the uh, lessons learned wherein you will see your entire trip or events in a reverse order to understand what went wrong. Right. And uh, to do an RCA, root cause analysis, and mm -hmm. uh, highlight the possible mistakes, even the silliest mistakes, please highlight, uh, which needs to be highlighted, and uh, avoid making the same mistakes over and over again. So these are the things uh, which in a typical CPO's days can look alike. Understood, sir. Understood. And it's very interesting to note that you know, hum apne perception mein dekhte hain ki CPOs usually black suit mein sunglasses laga ke yeah. walkie talkie par baat kar rahe hain. But I guess there is a lot that is happening in the back end. There is a lot in terms of series of tasks that need to be accomplished. And yes. it is not just one job that needs to be done, right? Agreed. So sir, ek agar jaise koi hamara ek aspiring candidate hai jo is conversation ko sun raha hai. Now they want to enter the industry and they want to become a best-in-class CPO as we have been talking about. So, kahan se shuru kar sakte hain? Kya unki trajectory dikhegi? First of all, do a proper research. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, certifications acquire karo. Mm -hmm. uh, global standard certifications acquire karo. And then, uh, ace the class. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has to be passed out with passion. As right. uh, we've already mentioned. Yes. And then again, uh, start the jobs with the low risks and then move up towards the high risks but maintainly uh, simultaneously you also have to do the advanced level of trainings right so that because we cannot uh, work on an individual's perception we all know one has only has to follow the study right so then again because we cannot play with uh, it's not a joke to play with someone else's life absolutely Absolutely, sir. So, sir, we have already spoken about certifications and courses and training. So, are there any programs within India or outside of India that you would recommend for a beginner to go for? I'll, uh, for the ease of the public, I'll, uh, I'll share you the link and you can just uh, upload it in your thumbnails as well. Right, guys. So, you'll find the link in the description. So, sir, we did talk about, you know, the typical day in the life of a CPO and what it takes to be a best-in-class CPO. And but let's say a beginner, right? What can they expect to make in terms of salary in the industry as a CPO? See, uh, as a beginner, you'll be freshly coming out of a training, and uh, I prefer that you will go for experience rather than a money. Mm -hmm. As uh, the more experience you will be, the more finer you will become over a right. course of a, a few years. And then yes, of course, and uh, the salary expectations are again different, specific to the uh, different job assignments and different uh, risk within the assignments. You can also see uh, to start with um, like 100, 100 USD to start with and then again uh, it will go on and this on. This is what 12 was, right? 100 yes. USD for yeah, 12 was. Yeah, see. Uh, the, 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 the key thing in the CP operations, hmm. you will, uh, there are no hours. If you are on the right. job, you either 24 or you are hmm. not at all. So right. please make yourself mentally prepared that you are not there for specific hours. Understood, sir. Yeah. Understood. So, sir, we have talked a lot about the industry, how you can make your name, how you can make a good career. Kaise bana sakte hai. But coming to you, right? Where did your journey kahan se start? Hui? What got you into the industry? It's starting actually in London. So okay. uh, I was there in 2011. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were just uh, wandering around in central London, and there were people with the black suits and uh, flashy badges. And I'm like, 
who are these people? Why are they like so uh, dolled up and stuff like that? Because uh, there were the bouncers. And yeah, right. I wasn't aware by that time that, okay, there are bouncers, uh, which like uh, they people used to hire to do club security and stuff like that. So that I was, uh, of course, being a Punjabi, and I was about 6.4 inch and uh, I got a heavy body and, People started telling me, oh, you should join security and you should join security. That's where uh, it caught my attention and I have put myself inside the security, started with the door supervision and then again uh, did my trainings and moved uh, all the way up to the ladder towards the uh, mm-hmm. CPO and stuff. Yeah, so that's the start of for me as a career. Very interesting, sir. Very interesting. And sir, after the beginning of the start, when you are in this career, so what is it that motivates you every day? The kind of jobs or the careers, uh, these kind of the specific CPO ones, it's not very popular back in the days in the right. market. And uh, I have enrolled to do something uh, different from the actual career where people are literally taking a path of the doctors or the police or something of that sort. My focus is towards to establish a proper global footprint that people like us from a smaller towns or districts can also do well in these kind of industries as well. Uh, and also then another uh, professional factor to it that I met with the people or I meet with the people and I'm continuing to meet with the people who are professionally sound and uh, business leaders, world business leaders mm. and uh, trying to learn from them that how they operate, how is their mindset and uh, just to grow and uh, from their mindset, okay, uh, this is what they are doing and this is what we are missing in. These are the things which keeps me motivating and uh, getting me out of the bed. Right. So there's a saying also, that why fit in when you're born to stand out? Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. So I think on that note, we'll wrap up this conversation. Right. Thank you so much for sharing it's your insights. Pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for watching the third episode of the Security Talk Show by 360 PSA. We hope कि आपको इसमें immense knowledge मिला है, immense inspiration मिला है, that आप close protection में अपनी journey तुरंत start कर सकें. So don't wait and start right away. See you in the next video.